welcome you to another presentation of the Methodist Connection. Half an hour of hymns and songs and the stories behind them. Thanks so much for your interest and support. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Father, we give you praise as creator of the universe and as co-recreator of repentant hearts. Give us grace to walk in the newness of life, in that reconciliation which Christ has provided through his death and through his resurrection from the dead. Lord, as we anticipate your coming to earth, born in a manger, may we open our hearts to receive not only you as the babe of Bethlehem, but as the savior of the world. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We begin in this Advent season with the well-known Christmas carol, Away in a Manger. It's number 465 in Voices in Praise. This season of the year is known as a season when families come together and enjoy worship, fellowship, and love. No Christmas carol is more loved than this tender children's carol, Away in a Manger. The words are a simple expression of love for the Lord Jesus Christ and trust in his faithful care. Please join us in the singing of the children's carol, Away in a Manger, number 465 in Voices in Praise, Methodist Hymnal. <laughs> The second hymn is O Come All Ye Faithful, which was first used in the Roman Catholic churches before it became known to Protestants. Today it is sung by church groups around the world since it has been translated from its original Latin into more than 100 other languages. The original Latin text consisted of four verses. The first verse calls us to visualize anew the infant Jesus in Bethlehem stable. The second verse is usually omitted in most hymnals, but it reminds us that the Christ child is very God himself. God of God and light of light begotten, lo, he upholds not the virgin virg womb, very God begotten, not created, O come. Let us adore him. This hymn was written in 1744 by John Wade. Please join us in the singing of this hymn, O Come All Ye Faithful, number 66, in Voices in Praise. Mm -hmm. 
Our third hymn is Hark the Herald Angels Sing, number 63 in Voices in Praise. This Christmas carol was one of the many carols that were abolished by the English Puritans Parliament in 1627 because they were a part of a worldly festival which they considered to be the celebration of Christmas and it was deemed worldly. As a result, there was a scarcity of Christmas hymns and carols in the 17th and 18th century. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, written by Charles Wesley, was one of the few written during this period. Friends, for more than 200 years, the hymns of Charles Wesley continued to enlighten and bless believers by the attractive manners in which Charles Wesley had we told the truth of our Savior's birth. Please join us in the singing of this well-known carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Glory to the Newborn King. It is number 63 in Voices in Praise.
are fought him is O little town of Bethlehem. It's number 6-8 in Voices in Praise. This hymn is based on the text that comes from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, verse 4. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee and Jude, to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belongs to the house and line of David. This hymn was written by one of America's most outstanding ministers of the 20th century, Philip Brooks. It was during a trip to the Holy Land in 1865 that Philip went to the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem on Christmas Eve and worshipped there. He was deeply moved by this experience that, they, that three years later he wrote this carol for the children to sing in their Sunday school Christmas program. O oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie above thy deep and dreamless sleep. The silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all years are met in thee tonight. Let me invite you to join us in the, this presentation. O oh, little town of Bethlehem, it's number 68 in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in Praise. This hymn, Thou Didst Leave Thy Throne, was written by Emily E. Elliot to teach children the truth of the Advent and Nativity season. 
Emily's life was filled with compassionate activities in rescue missions and in the work of the Sunday School movement of that time. The influence of her father in her life was very evident, who was the rector at St. Mark's Anglican Church in Brinton, England. Made it very easy as she penned the words of this hymn, which reflected the spiritual truths found in these excellent lines, which soon made the hymn a widespread favorite. Friends, this fine hymn has provided to be an inspiration not only to children, but to adults as well during the Christmas season and also throughout the entire year. In closing, one of the Christmas traditions celebrated by many persons in the English-speaking world is to tune in on Christmas Eve, either on radio or television, to the Festival of Nine Lessons and Carols, originating from King's College, Cambridge. This tradition began in 1918 and was first broadcast in 1928 
and is now heard by millions around the world. Once in Royal David City stood a lonely cattle shed where a mother lay her baby in a cradle for his bed. Mary, mother mine, Jesus Christ, her little child. It's number 481 in Voices in Praise hymn book. Thanks so much for joining me in the Methodist Connection. I am Stanley Ruben Griffin, inviting you to join us next week at the same time and on this same station for the Methodist Connection. You may write to us or email us with your comments or suggestions for hymns you would like the choirs to sing at Jamaica Methodist Link, 143 Constant Spring Road, Kingston 8. The email address is mainoffice at jamaicamethodist.org. You may also send us WhatsApp messages and voice calls at 876-445-5713 or 876-925-6768. Do continue to support us by joining us each week in viewing these programs and experiencing God's blessing through some. We invite you to, to make your love gifts for the upkeep of this ministry. Please make checks payable 
to the Jamaica Methodist link or use one of the contacts on your screen to arrange for electronic transfers or deposit. Do have a very good day. The peace of Christ be with you now and always.